This happens all the time when you're building an intelligent system. You have a breakthrough that makes a lot of huge progress that gets people really excited, and then you think that any moment it's just going to burst into the next stage, and somehow it plateaus. You know, sort of a fairly straight way, right. and then it starts tailing off. It was trending up, and now it's sort of curving over. And so a lot of times, the builders have this notion that, oh, all we have to do is keep refining the long tail. We can get it, we just need to find all the fringe cases, and if we do that enough, will kind of divide our way to the next level. But think about that. You can't divide your way to a new level. In order to reach the new level, you have to change the aim. And of course, this is what happens on the developmental journey of intelligence. That's why it looks like a staircase. It's a series of long tail problems. Each time you encounter the long tail, it means we're pushing up against the limits of the system's built-in aim, so we have to build a new aim, a better aim that will allow it to break through that paradigm. That's where the different five stages of aim come from. They're part of that developmental journey that all systems go through. So the solution to the problem ChatGPT has is it has to have a higher qualified aim. Well, think about the difference between a blue aim and an amber aim. An amber aim is a system that just wants to keep the rules that it's been provided with. A blue aim is a system that's capable of aiming at a future version of the world. That's what it wants a different version of the future. This is what humans naturally do. We're very good at understanding our world that we live in now and a desired future world that we would like to see. What kind of version of the world do you want to see become real? There's probably lots of details that you can imagine. Do you want to see a world that has more crime than we experience right now? Probably not. That's the attribute of what a blue aim can do, is it's the ability to imagine a different version of the world, and that's what it wants. So when you build a system that has a high aim, that's what allows it to be able to solve at scale the problem that OpenAI is struggling with right now. Because when somebody comes with a prompt, trying to trick ChatGPT into playing a game where it's going to reveal information that could be harmful, it's capable of recognizing how, oh, this information that I'm going to put out into the world will have an effect on a desired future outcome. Its worldview isn't simply what's the right next word to provide and it's completely blind to the consequences of what providing that information will do. You wanna have a system that is able to recognize that its actions do things. And that's the limitation that we're experiencing right now with ChatGPT. It has no clue what the information that it's providing will do to the world. So these are some of the patterns to be looking out for as we continue to watch the progress of AI unfold. There's a lot of hype around AI, but AI is only going to be as powerful as it is autonomous. So it's these principles of autonomy that are the true key to unlocking all of this potential that everyone is excited about. If you want to learn more about these principles of autonomy, check out the free resource I have on the website, elkadeo.com, or stay subscribed to the channel so you can be notified when new videos come out in the future.